All right, everybody, next up in our handstand prep progression, we just did a crow pose with your feet supported on a block. Now we're gonna try to get into unloading your feet and loading your arms more. So this one is a one leg loaded variation. So we're gonna find the same setup as the feet on the block variation. Try to get your fingers apart to nice wide base. Try to get your hands flat. Uh, and then from here, first step is again, take that belly button back toward your low back. Okay, that just gives me the pelvic or midsection or core stability, whatever word you prefer. And then we are making sure our neck stays long. Okay, I don't want it falling down towards the ground. I don't want to look too far up like this, but I do want my head to stay long. Now from there, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to pick your knees up off the ground. Both my feet stay down for now. I'm going to walk them, walk my knees closer to my arms. And then I'm just going to try to keep my belly button back, find my knee contact here. And I like that. And then I'm just going to pick a foot up. And I feel that a lot more. And we try to keep talking because that means we keep breathing. Switch sides. And it's just like that. So if you if you watched my both feet on the block video, you noticed I didn't shake as much as I did on this one. And that's because I'm increasing the load on my hands. Um, this is a great kind of like stepping tool, stepping stone. You don't necessarily have to do them from one program to the next. It could just be Hey, I'm going to do a set with both my feet down, and then I'm going to do a set with one of my feet down. Um, that's about it. Um, remember, keep hands spread, keep your head long, and that'll make sure that you're preparing yourself, not just for strength purposes, but for mobility purposes, because we need both if we're going to do a handstand.